although location 2 has negative kurtosis. Whether that's statistically significantly different from the other two groups, I don't know. Um, and the standard deviations based on the raw data uh, look pretty different. Uh, the standard deviation for location 1 is 7.4, 16.9 for location 2, and 7.9. Now, to test the assumption that the distributions are roughly the same, which nobody really, you know, very few people ever test that in Kruskal Wallace, because I think most people think that the Kruskal Wallace is, uh, doesn't assume that the distributions are the same or that you get homogeneity of variance. Actually, the Kruskal Wallace does assume homogeneity of variance. And the way they test that in the Kruskal Wallace context is not with the Levine's, the traditional Levine's test. You have to test it with the non-parametric equivalent of the Levine's test of homogeneity of variance. And I'm just going to do this very quickly because I have a separate video on homogeneity of variance, the non-parametric. I've got a series of videos on Levine's test. I'll encourage you to watch that to get more details. I'm going to do it quickly here. So what you have to do is you have to rank your data. Actually, I've got to unsplit my group first. So I want to analyze all my cases. So I'm going to transform and rank my data. So I'm going to get a rank value for all of my drink scores. And that's for the whole group combined. So people who scored 0 have a rank of 6.5. And somebody with a score of 26 drinks, well, that's a rank of 41. Now I need to get the means for the respective groups. That is, the rank means. So I'm just going to do that quickly, because I'm going to assume that you know how to do this. So I want to get uh, drink means. It's the default, the summary variable for means. And group, I want to break it across each group. All right. So that's created a mean rank score for each respective group. So for group 1, and then group 2, and then group 3. Now I need to get the difference between those. And it's going to be the absolute difference. So absolute diff. Again, I'm going to do this quickly. Because I've got another video on this. OK, so what I want is the rank minus the mean rank. Uh, yeah, so it drinks mean. OK. And now I'm just going to perform an analysis of variance on these absolute difference scores. So the mean rank of uh, the rank of 6.5 minus the mean group rank is 103 for all those people because they have the same rank. And then I'm just going to perform an analysis of variance because this is actually a Levine's test. It's called a non-parametric Levine's test. And group, and I'm going to hope that there's no statistical significance. Uh, between the means, because it's the mean deviations, and that's a homogeneity of variance test for non-parametric data. And we can see that the f value is 0 0.408 with a significance of 0.668. So we failed to reject the null hypothesis in this case, which means that my variances are roughly homogeneous, or I failed to reject the null hypothesis that they're not. Or the null hypothesis, yeah, the null hypothesis that they're not. So now I've satisfied the assumption of homogeneity, and I'm going to infer that I've assumed the, uh, that my assumption of similar distributions also applies. So now I can actually do the Kruskal Wallace analysis. So we're going to analyze. Compare non-parametric tests, go into legacy dialogues, and go into k-independent samples. And I'm going to do it simply on my raw data, because SPSS is actually going to convert the data on its own. And then I'm going to put groups in here. And I've got to define the range. And I've got three groups, one to three. So click on Continue. I've got Krusko Wallace here. That's my default. I'm going to show the median test in another uh, series, another video. We've got the exact option here, and it's not really useful uh, to calculate exact because I believe SPSS will only calculate exact p-values for cases where you have 40, a sample size of less than 40. Uh, and in this case, we have 45, so it's not going to calculate it. Uh, so I'm just going to use the asymptotic only option, which is the default. Most people would be doing it that way. You can click on the options of descriptives and quartiles, but I find them relatively useless, and I'll show you why. 
So we'll click on uh, OK. We'll get the analysis. So here are the descriptive statistics. And it's giving me the mean for drinks uh, based on the